Uh, I think the real takeaway for me, however, is that there is no change. It's just more of the same. And that's because it is essentially the same team. Uh, Chris Hipkins has been part of this government for the last almost six years that has failed spectacularly to get anything done. And so the New Zealand people need much more than just a Labour Party leadership change. What they need is a national government that will actually get things done. Right. So a leadership change is not what they need. Let's just, we've got to be real careful with these words and be accurate and be, be fair. It's not just about a leadership change. And the words that he used, let me be very clear, are the, the reason that Labour is going to continue to fail, right? That's it, is because it's, quote, essentially the same team. Now, oh, okay. I've done a little bit of research. <laughs> I bet you have. Remember, the reason that Labour is not going to succeed is it's essentially the same team. Essentially the same team. Um, so here's here's the list from Nationals Party at 2020, right? The red ones are people who have retired. Guess what's happening with the other 20? Still bloody there. They're still all there. It's it's sorry, hang on. It's essentially the same team. They're still all there. All of those people are still there. They're still on the front bench. Yes, there's been a little bit of shuffling around. And if we're fair, and I like to be fair, this is the list. This is the new list that no one talked about last week because it was released the same day that Jacinda resigned. <laughs> Christopher Luxon was in a top 20 MP in 2020, like on the list. And number seven, eight, nine are new additions, and number 18 and 20. So there's five people in the top 20 that weren't in the top 20 last time. Remember, two people have left and one's the leader. So that leaves two, two genuine changes. And remember, Mr. Luxon was critical of Labour, saying they're not going to do any good. They're the same old, same old, because they are, quote, uh, turn page, thumbs, essentially the same team. Now, this team, which is essentially the same team as 2020, got less than 26% of the party vote. So if our criteria for being bad and expecting much of the same is they are essentially the same team, has anyone told Mr. Luxon that you have essentially the same team They got less than 26% of the party vote? It's the Shall first we? thing I thought of when he said it. I was, I was like, but... But it's not like you're the fresh face of National with a whole new and improved lineup. It's, no, it's essentially the same lineup. It's essentially yeah, the that's, same. That's what I mean. Is is that he's yeah he just walked into his own bloody trap. Ah, uh, but Except yeah. Again, no, but again, again, it's not a trap because no one else is fucking talking about <laughs> it. No Labour MP has used the phrase back towards him. No hmm. Chris Hipkins has gone. I mean, I, I appreciate Christopher Luxon's comments about us being essentially the same. It's good to see that 70 to 90% of his team are essentially the same. In the 2020 election, I assume that means he also thinks they will essentially do the same thing and get 26% of the vote. My my other <laughs> my other favorite part of this is, is this country needs a national government that's going to get things done. And it, it's great. It's It's a nice, pithy headline. It's definitely going to feature on the top five slogans going into the election but there's just there's just one little thing and a lot of people do this when they when they have a nice pithy slogan we're going to get stuff done there's no guarantees that any of the stuff that we are going to do is going to be good we're just <laughs> going to do it you know it, it's yeah it's it's just soundbite shit and he had well, a moment he had a moment there where he could have been classy and, and yeah, he yeah, missed yeah. it Let's go back to the sound bites. Here are a few more of them. It's all too little, too late, isn't it? I mean, it's now, look, you know, it's a government that has actually, by its own admission, now admitting that it has failed to get things done for the New Zealand. This is the, the problem with this is Where? the problem with Labour. No, no, but this is the problem with Labour saying that they're going to do some reprioritizing. It feeds into this this narrative. And and you yeah, know, yeah. if I if I was advising Luxon, I'd say, yeah, push that. They're now saying that they're shit hot. I mean, they're shit house. Because they're, they're, if, if they're having to reprioritize, obviously, then those were errors. We've been saying they were errors for 12 months, and now they're saying they're errors. That's the line we want to push. It's fair enough. I'm an oppositional party. Zealand people. And to come out now, you know, 
in an election year to say this year we're going to take it really seriously we're really going to get things done it's just not credible it's just not believable is my view and so um you know again Chris Hipkins has been one of the most senior, you know, one of the three most senior people in the Labour Party, alongside Jacinda Ardern, Grant Robertson, and himself. You know, they have been the three senior leaders of that party. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, that they, we, they have not been able to achieve anything over that last five and a half years. Look, I it's, think, you know, really, he should true. be getting rid of uh, three waters. Ref, you know, ref- All right. So let's play a game, shall it's we? It's just a lie. So they haven't been able to achieve anything over the past five and a half years. This is the Labour Party website. Now, you can say that's tainted, whatever you want to do, but this is the policies that have been passed. Remember, the Black Swan series says, to disprove the statement, all swans are white, all you need is one black swan. So Christopher Luxon says they've achieved nothing. Chewy, shut your eyes, put your hands over your eyes, and you're going to say, uh, stop, not yet because I haven't started yet, and then I'm going to just stop wherever it is, and we're going to have a look to see what they've achieved. I'm going when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. I can't see with the blast shield down. You're going to say stop? Uh, you just say I'm ready. Stop. Jeez, I'm going to go to the fucking bottom. All right, let's go to the top line. Responded to the March 15 attack with a raft of initiatives to provide inclusion and safety for all New Zealanders. Ramped up pest control programs to protect farmers and our environment while creating jobs. Working with farmers to deliver... Oh, not working with farmers. I thought that Labour hated farmers. Working with farmers to deliver on a world first agreement to measure price and reduce agricultural emissions. Started to work to regulate the residential property market. uh, Sorry, property management sector to protect both renters and landlords. Right, Mm -hmm. cover your eyes, please. Cover your eyes. We're going to do it again. Just say stop. You want to stop? Stop. Okay. There. All right. So um, launch the Better Pathways package to drive down youth crime. Improve rural uh, rural broadband connectivity with more than 350 new mobile towers. Complete and improved access for 80,000 rural homes. Hang on. That sounds like doing something. Hang on. Hang on. And, hang on. and for the rurals. No, no, no. But that sounds like they've achieved something because yes. there's a number there. There's a number there that says improved access for 80,000 rural homes and business. That sounds like they've they've achieved something. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that could be. Let's have a look at this. Reinstated the training incentive, Mm -hmm. allowance for higher skilled courses, supporting around 16,000 people to retrain. Now, hang on. That sounds like an achievement because there's a a number attached as well. Correct. It's also something that National took away. What about this one? Created more than 9,200 environmental jobs in our regions through our jobs for nature. Why well, not just go looking for some numbers? All right, how about this? Increased family support, meaning 346,000 families are better off each week. Uh, what's that number? Rolling out more than 3,300 kilometers of road safety upgrades through the Safe Network program. Um, I'm just, I'm so confused. Launched progressive home ownership schemes supported between 1,500 and 4,000 whānau to step, to step, to step in home ownership. Um, established a $300 million venture capital fund to back Kiwi innovation. These, they, I mean, I'm particularly confused by these numbers because these numbers are easy to measure and they seem like achievements stepped up the fight against rheumatic fever, helping 142,000 Kiwis stay warmer and healthier through our Healthy Homes Initiative. I, I'm confused now, Chewie, because they, like, they feel like achievements to me, but Mr. Faluxon would say to us, they haven't had a single achievement. I'm, I maybe you can explain it to. Me. I'm missing something. I don't know what. Maybe this is maybe this is the 1950s Labour website. That's probably and, what it is. 